Hey guys, this is ZAKRC here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make an external capacitor for your RC vehicles. So, yeah, this will work with planes, boats, cars, anything that takes a receiver plug like this or has positive and negative battery wires. So, basically, it'll work with pretty much anything. And the benefit of using one of these is to make your car or truck or plane drive or feel smoother because it limits some of the power like the excess power that goes out to the motors or the servos or whatever so it's a lot smoother it just makes it a lot better so because the capacitors actually store electricity so yeah let's get started with this what i did was i took a circuit board from a computer which you could use any kind of old circuit boards or other stuff like that that have capacitors on them and you can tell that they're capacitors because they have they're just like soda can shaped and they're just sticking out of the board so that's how you know that they're capacitors if it's something like this that's a coil don't use that <laughs> if it's something like this I want to use those those are way too small so yeah what you're looking for is something like this and also if we're gonna use a 7.4 volt lipo I'd stick with the capacitor that's rated for over 10 volts or at 10 volts. This one here is rated at 10 volts and it works really nice. Or if you're using an 11.1 .1 volt 3S or like a 22 volt 6S or something. For 11.1 .1 volt you want to use over 15 volts for the volt rating on this capacitor. And then for the 22 volt uh, 6S LiPo you'd want to go for obviously like a 30 volt capacitor. And also, like, the more ferrets you have in the capacitor, the better it will act for a smoother ride. So, basically what I did was I picked out a capacitor. You want to go with a small one, not a big one, because this, it's just way too big and you don't need that big of a capacitor. So, I just picked a small one. And what I did was I flipped over the board, unsoldered where the pins connected to the board, and I took the capacitor off. So, uh, yeah. Then what I did was I got some receiver cord or like a or like a bind plug and I just repositioned the pins so that the red one was in the middle and the black one was on the right if you're looking at it from this angle and then I just soldered up the red side to this side of it the blank side and then the negative to this side where the dashes are where it looks like a negative sign and then I also put some electric tape around the outside. And you guys could also just use heat shrink or just hot glue it and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, guys, that is a simple little way of how to make yourself a glitch buster capacitor for free. And the glitch busters and capacitors out there on the market like the Novak or the, or the Racer's Edge ones cost like over $7. Where you can just find yourself an old computer, a computer board or a radio and rip some capacitors out of there for free. So we can just go dumpster diving, find some of these. And who doesn't have some bind plugs laying around? I mean, come on. So yeah, you can make three of these for free. I've made a ton for uh, pretty much all my cars except for the censored ones. And yeah, guys, so comment, rate, subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you in the next video.